Okay. So when I was in Bangladesh, basically I used to see, uh, stay with my elder brother and sister. So my mom used to live in New, New York. So I stayed without them for two years. So, and I already know that I will be in America very soon. One day I will be here. But that day came when I got the visa and my parents sent us the tickets. But there was a problem with my elder sister. She had an exam to finish in Bangladesh. So that's why we have to leave her alone in Bangladesh and I have to come with my elder brother. So after that, when we uh, arrived, uh, when we was in the New York, we arrived in New York, there was some issue with our luggage. So we have to wait for a while, for an hour to solve that problem. And after that, when we solved the problem, we came out of the airport and I saw my family was standing there. And my focus only went to my mom's, mom's face and she was like worried and happy at the same time. So that, and she was crying. And that, uh, like when I saw her after two years, that feelings was wonderful. I cannot explain how, how I was feeling that time. And at the same time, I was watching my niece for the first time, who was like only three months. So that feelings was wonderful too. And I basically, I came here in summer. So I spent the whole time with my families. And after that, I got accepted to International High School for Health Sciences. So I was very worried and, uh, and all of the question was coming in my head like, I will have any friends or teacher will help me out or all this question was going through my mind. And then when I entered the International High School for Health Sciences, I saw the principal was distributing the schedule and he was explaining where I need to go for the first period. And I found him very friendly and very open mind. And after that, I went to my first class, which was science. And I, when I entered, I saw a girl was sitting with her friends and speaking English. So I was a little bit scared because my English was not good. And I could write, but it was, uh, English was, I, can't, I couldn't speak because I was scared. So I saw she was sitting and she had with the hijab. So I felt relieved that she, I think she's Muslim. She's of course she's Muslim, but I was I was wondering she's um, from Bangladesh as I'm from. So she, uh, when I was thinking all those things, I saw she was coming towards me, and she asked me questions like where I'm from and all those things. And then she started talking to me in Bengali. Then I was for sure like she's a Bengali girl. I felt so relieved. And then she introduced me with her friends. And then she also told me about the schedule, schools, how it works, all those things. And I felt uh, slowly we become very good friends. And her name was Samia. Uh, we become so good friends that after a while, she started talking about her families, friends. And that makes me feel very like she's very open mind and she also thinking we are like a sisters. So everything was going smoothly. I was so happy with the school, but one day I was in my favorite class, which was art. But uh, one of my teachers gave us the, um, my uh, return my assignments. So I got very bad grades and I was not happy with it because I love art so much and I got a bad grade. I was so disappointed. I was so sad, like what I need to do. I don't know anything about it. And then Samuel was here. She explained me what I need to do for that class to get a good grades. So after that, I found like all I was missing was I had to read about the work, what I need to do. It's like your, um, like what you have to do in, in that class to get a full grade. So after that, I did everything well and I'm good to go. And then it's now four years I'm here. And of course, I, I also like art now. That's why I applied for the fashion design and which was wonderful. Life is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>